This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, playing with Gym Knights again, because after I filmed the previous two videos, it was brought to my attention that there is an FTK involving just two cards. It requires any Gym Knight that can be summoned, or any Gym monster that can be summoned, rather. So you can use Armadillo as well. Uh, and Brilliant Fusion, it's a two-card combo that burns for 9,000 damage if you're playing Summon Sorceress. It burns for 8,500 if you're playing literally any other Link 3 that points down diagonally, like Decode Talker or something like that. Uh, and it does that via Blog Dragon. Blog Dragon getting you searches is absolutely huge. And this was something that I thought might be an interaction, but I sort of dismissed it in my mind as being way too gimmicky. It's like, eh, this is a Dragon Ruler. This is too gimmicky for this deck. But no, it turns out it's actually just the nuts. <laughs> and so that's basically all there is to it. Uh, with Grinder Golem as a combo starter, with Brilliant Fusion and Block Golem as things to draw into, this deck now has a lot more consistent ways to enable the FTK than before. Uh, now the deck, the extra deck is super tight for this deck. Uh, there's only two Master Diamonds in here. You should probably be playing three, but for all the combos involving Grinder Golem or Brilliant Fusion or Blog Dragon in general, you put so many monsters onto your field that are special summoned that you only really need the two anyway. Uh, it's very interesting. If you're playing correctly, you should only ever need two of these. Uh, in case you're, unless your opponent is literally just like so much higher in life than you, but even then, like I don't see any need to reach for a 12,000 point burn. Uh, because that's basically what you can do. Like, all the Grinder Golem plays, all of the Brilliant Fusion plus Gym Knight plays, put six monsters on your field that were special summoned. One in your extra monster zone, and then five in your main monster zones. And so, then anything that your opponent has as well, like Grinder Golem just chilling on their side of the field or whatever, just adds to that. So, you actually just don't need any more than two Master Diamonds. Although, if you wanted to, you could cut the second Firewall Dragon for a third Master Diamond. Uh, the second Firewall Dragon almost never comes up. Uh, but it is something that comes up if you're trying to re do, you know, play a removal game and remove something from the field off your Grinder Golem play, like a Dark Law, for example, in a previous video that was done. But anyway, I'm not going to spend too much t more time rambling about this. You'll see the FTK in action multiple times during this uh, video, I'm sure. Uh, I could even do a separate video on Brilliant Fusion plus a Gym Monster uh, just to solidify the combo in people's minds, but otherwise, there's not much reason to keep talking about things here, so let's jump straight into the first game, shall we? Alright, so, can I go first? Yes, I get to go first. Alright, so I was playing this earlier and I got called a coward. <laughs> the person was like, I should, you shouldn't need to cheaply FTK me. Um, this is Grinder Golem plus Rescue Rabbit plus Double Obsidian. This is an insane hand, by the way. Uh, just in case you were not aware, hopefully my opponent doesn't leave, because people people like to fuck around and leave with Grinder Golem combos. I don't know why I'm still playing this Link Spider. I should probably just be playing Double Link Karibo. That way, two are loaded in Grave um, for any sort of later play involving a Grinder Golem, but I actually just don't think that actually matters either. Um, very strange how my thoughts and how my mind processes things sometimes. Because sometimes it's absolutely correct, and then sometimes it's just like, why are you thinking about this? <laughs> sometimes it's just that serious. Alright, so, we'll do this. Um, and so I can actually try to dig for Brilliant Fusion as well. Uh, and just in case my hand isn't, like, insane, which it is, by the way. My hand is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but I'll summon more Grinder Golem tokens. I'd hoped that I would just vanilla draw Brilliant Fusion, I could just do the combo straight. But we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get to that point in this video somewhere. Uh, but so we'll do this, into this, and then we'll activate this. I'm going to call Brilliant Fusion uh, and see where that gets me. Brilliant Fusion, please. Okay. Um, and so let's see here. Foolish Block Dragon. Okay, we milled a Block Dragon. That's good. That Block Dragon's live. That, bro that Block Dragon's live as fuck. Um, because I can get rid of uh, some stuff later, and that would just be perfect. Because uh, I can fuse into Zirconia, do some shit. Hell yeah. Alright. So, carrying on. Firewall. Bounce the Grinder Golem. Uh, and then I can put the Grinder Golem back onto the field, and it is going to stay there uh, from now on. Because I'm going to go into Kairos. Uh, or am I going to go into Kairos? I don't think there's a need. But fuck it. We might as well, right? Mill more cards for gr for for Block Dragon. Mill more cards for Block Dragon. He's the boy. He's there. He's ready. He's ready and waiting. All right. So one, two, 
Uh, I will summon this rescue rabbit out of my hand because that lets me make phantom core. And then we just start getting really turned. Um, so what am I going to send here? I'm going to send... No, I don't want to send Crystal Rose. That's kind of the key card that I search off of uh, off of my finger. So this will mill... Did I just mill Crystal Rose? I did! Shit! Alright, well then. Uh, that changes some things. Uh, this adds three rocks. I don't know if I can even add three rocks with the Crystal Rose in the grave, but that's fine then. Now the Block Dragon is just a free special summon. <laughs> um, so we'll activate this. Banishing this. Uh, this gets to activate to summon two garnets from my deck. Um, actually, I need the lapises. 100%. Need the lapises. Uh, so we'll summon lapis, lapis. And then those will go into my phantom core right here. And then this phantom core could trigger. I'm not going to trigger that right now. Phantom core will trigger. Uh, and it will add... Uh, another obsidian to my hand, sure. Why not? Um, so now, what I've got access into doing is that I have access into fusing away uh, into some stuff. I can summon Block Dragon, I can fuse into a Zirconia, um, and then that starts my play string rolling. So, from Graveyard, I will banish uh, one, two, three... Uh, and summon this over here, and then I'll activate this, fusing into Zirconia, getting rid of Block Dragon and my Obsidian, so that would come over here, and then the Block Dragon effect, oh, the Block Dragon does activate. What are the targets in my deck that add up to eight? Uh, I'm curious. So I'll special summon this here. Uh, oh, I can just add another Block Dragon. Or I can add two Gym Armadillo. Whoa! Alright. Interactions. Alright, cool. That's why I play 2 Jim Armadillo. That's, that's the secret reason. That's the secret reason <laughs> Block Dragon can search these cards. That's the secret reason why. You heard it here first. Um, but no, in reality. <laughs> let's, let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, I can summon Summon Sorceress uh, by getting rid of... Let's see, I can get rid of these, but there's not really a reason to. I can put another firewall over here, um, so this opens and then this zone opens. Um, so that might be the way that we do this. That might be the way that we go about business. Uh, or I can just do two firewalls here. Yeah. Alright, hell yeah. Uh, so we'll get rid of this and we'll get rid of the firewall here. To go into the firewall up here, just to open up this zone. Uh, and that clears the way for us to do uh, special summon and nonsense. But so, we'll get this back, then we'll activate this, and we will go for Lady Lapis Lazuli, getting rid of this and this over here, and then the Obsidian Triggers. For this, there's going to be six monsters on field, so that's all fine and good. <sighs> I could actually put this on board, or I could put the Crystal Rose on board too. Um by uh, getting rid of some stuff. But do I have a vanilla in my graveyard that's worthwhile to add back? I do not. So we'll send the vanilla with this, just so we get more cards. Uh, so I'll send Garnet from deck to grave. That's 3k burn. Then I get to activate this, banishing the obsidian from my grave to add it back to my hand. And then I can, um, I can do a Gym Knight Fusion, getting rid of... Uh, I need to summon Master Diamond, getting rid of Lazuli, getting rid of Obsidian, and I'll get rid of Zirconia. So that summons this there. Uh, the Obsidian effect will trigger. The Firewall will trigger. Uh, so this will be fine. This will be great. This will put even more monsters on the field. Uh, so I'll summon a Gym Armadillo here, and then I'll summon this Garnet over here. This deck is wild. This deck is actually just insane. Um, I'll banish the Subsidian, add this back. Uh, I will use this to banish this to copy. And then I'll activate this effect to send the other copy of it from my extra deck to the grave. Burn for 35. Uh, and then from here, I can activate this. I still haven't used my Phantom Core's effect either. I could still just shuffle things back. That's what's the most wild about this. Um, I'll get rid of this, I will get rid of this, and I will get rid of this. 
into a monster right here. I could use Firewall here, and sure, why not? I've got Crystal Rose as well that's coming back um, by its own effect, so that's just more things to have. Uh, so I'll banish the Zirconia out of my uh, grave, and then I'll use this. Mill Lazuli, Lazuli will trigger, add a card to my hand, and then this diamond can activate, getting rid of my uh, Lady Lapis Lazuli, and then I can activate this effect, sending the Lazuli from deck to grave, and there you go. This 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 deck is wild. This deck is insane. This this deck is, damn it, they're so easy to burn people. It's so easy to burn people to death, even if you're just bumbling through the combo strings with even a slight idea of what you need to be doing, you can just do it. Like, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's kind of scary as well. I mean, it gets hard countered by almost every hand trap, but still, like, depending on how far you go into the combo uh, sequence, hand traps become less and less relevant and less of things like hand water to stop you from doing burn damage, period. But I digress. Let's just jump straight in. Ghost Ogre on the first Master Diamond is actually a really hard way to counter this deck. A really hard counter is you let them burn you with the first Lady Lapis, and then when they use it, the Master Diamond's effect to banish Lapis from Grave, then you Ghost Ogre it, and they're like, I can't do the... Depending on what combo sequence they went for, they're like, I can't do much. But anyway, let's go straight into another one. Alright, so, let's see if I get to go first. I do! Fantastic! Uh, do I have Brilliant Fusion? I don't. But I do have Foolish for Block Golem, so that actually works. And I've got Jim Armadillo plus Unexpected Die, which can also work. Um, it's going to be a bit suspect, but it's going to be able to be something that can work, I think. Um, because I can Normal Summon this, get Jim Knight Obsidian, uh, and then things should be in my favor. Because I can go Foolish for the Block Dragon. Block Dragon! There you are. Okay, so Block Dragon, and then I can go into Phantom Core with these two. I can use this effect to add my Gym Knight Fusion, and then I can fuse with these two uh, into my into my uh, thing, and the Obsidian won't really matter. Uh, or I could just banish these cards from my hand. It doesn't actually matter to me all that much. Um, I could banish them and then use this to put it back, so yeah, actually that's fine, we'll do that. I'll banish the cards from my hand because I don't actually care, because I would rather have this Lazuli in my deck anyway. Um, so yeah, it doesn't matter what card I added there. So we'll do this, and then I'll be able to activate this, which shuffles back those three to let me go into Lady Brilliant Diamond, which is going to be what makes my, uh, my plays live going on further into this. Uh, okay, so now activate this. While the Gym Knight Phantom Core is still over here, and summon Master Diamond here. And then I get to make Summon Sorceress uh, with the Block Dragon and the Phantom Core, and summon it over here, so it opens up different zones for me. And then Block Dragon's effect can activate. Uh, this is like, special summon something to a zone, right? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> let's, let's just not. Alright, so, what I'm going to add here is that what is in my graveyard? Uh, my graveyard does not have a vanilla monster in it, so I do need to search vanilla. So I'll search Lapis, I'll search Obsidian, and I'll search Crystal Rose. Uh, so that's eight, so that's exactly what you need. Uh, so I can summon this Block Dragon again later in the turn, but not something that's going to be really important right this second. Uh, but we'll go into this Zirconia with this and the Crystal Rose. Zirconia here, and then I get to activate this uh, Crystal Rose by banishing the Lady Brilliant Diamond. I can summon the Crystal Rose here, and then I get to mill the Lazuli from my deck, which then gets to add back the Lapis. And then I get to use my Gym Knight Fusion from Grave to add back. Yeah, this is easy. This is so easy. This was so easy. I thought that I didn't have it because I didn't open Brilliant Fusion, but it turns out it's Foolish plus Gym Armadillo as well. Um, An unexpected die. <laughs> That's another version of this combo. All right, so I'm going to activate this uh, for the Obsidian and the Lapis into Lady Lapis Lazuli. And so the Obsidian here will summon this Lapis over here. So now I've got six special summon monsters on my field, uh, which means I can then go with this and mill... Do I even have a vanilla in my graveyard? I don't. How very, very curious. 
Um, it's fine, though. I'll just mill another Lapis, I guess, uh, for 3k burn, and then I get to use the uh, Gym Knight Fusion, Banish Obsidian, uh, and then I get to activate Master Diamond's effect after I fuse away with this. So I'll activate this, get Master Diamond, fuse away with this, fuse away with this, and fuse away with this. Yes, this is this is the this is the way that I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to get rid of all of those, uh, and then that allows me to use this Master Diamond to banish this and copy its effect. Then I get to activate the Summon Sorceress effect, targeting this, summoning another Lapis out of my deck. This is why you uh, why you do it in that specific way. Or I could summon Gym Armadillo <laughs> to opponent's field. No, over here, please. Um, and then I can use the Block Dragon. Why can't I not use the Block Dragon? Do I not have three rocks? I do have three rocks. How very strange. Oh well, I have game anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. But I'll banish this Zirconia. Why do I not have the ability to go into Block Dragon? Oh, because I hit activate and not special summon, that's why. Uh, let me double check my graveyard. I've got more than enough rocks. Yes? 100%. I have my rocks off even, you could say. So I'll banish these. Summon the block dragon, that's another special summon monster. And so now I can activate this effect to send the other Lapis Lazuli for my extra deck to the grave. Burn for 3k, activate this, banish this, activate this, burn for more! Why are you even surrendering when it's game already? Alright, cool! Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I didn't think that that one would work. But, unexpected die, plus foolish burial... Plus, literally, Jim Armadillo <laughs> does it as well. Very interesting. Very neat. I like this a lot. All right, so this is probably going to be the last duel of the video. I've already gotten two, uh, and they're both pretty decent. Um, so I, I guess I'm just too good at this rock, paper, scissors game. Can't People can't deal. Um, all right, so now the only thing that prevents me from winning is if my opponent has a Ghost Ogre. Otherwise, uh, this, this is pretty easy to... This is pretty easy for me to just go into Kairos and get my uh, get my Gym Knight Fusion. That's why this Grinder Golem shit is so good. Because you just go. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. I'm about to sneeze and it's about to be unfortunate. Um, unless I can keep it from happening, which I am trying with all of my mental might and fortitude to do. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, what was my thought process? Um, yeah, Grinder Golem by itself searches Gym Knight Fusion, and that's that's why it's really good. Um, search a Gym Knight Fusion, and then you have the potential to get lucky and get, like, Brilliant Fusion as well. Um, if Soul Charge was in my deck, I, which it probably should be, uh, I would be 100% calling Soul Charge every time. Um, but, uh, regardless, uh, let's see, we'll go into this, boink, uh, and then we'll use the Akashic for Brilliant Fusion. And I always do this first, because if I mill a Grinder Golem, then I can add that to my hand. Crystal Rose, okay. Jim Armadillo, okay. Um, neat. Alright, so. Nothing of note there. But if I had uh, milled another Grinder Golem, I could add it to my hand and then put it on my opponent's board as well. Uh, so that, like, it's just, it's super duper, um, it's super duper valuable for me. Because what that allows is that allows me to um, put more special summon monsters on the board. That's another 500 damage every burn. That's actually just really big. It's really huge. What is in my graveyard trying to activate? This crystal... No, it's not the crystal rose. It's the Link Karibo, which I do have to use anyway um, to go for the Kairos. So we'll do that. We will do that. Um, so we'll go one, two, three. Kairos. Um, we'll use Firewall and Kairos just to mask the Kairos from any possible Ash Blossoms. Um... And I will summon the Lazuli out of my hand way over here. Or not Lazuli, Lapis. Uh, and so what I'll send to my grave is I'll send the Gym Knight Fusion. And then the Kairos will activate. Milling more cards. It milled a Block Dragon. If you aren't amazing, then get out. <laughs> well, alrighty then. Alright, so I don't have any uh, Gym Knights in my graveyard that I can utilize. But I can easily put one there. Can easily do it. Um, let's see. What's in my grave that I can banish off this for Earth's Rescue Rabbit, the Armadillo, and the Link Spider? Yeah, that works. Sure. 
That works fine and dandy. Uh, we'll get rid of these and summon this. And then I will link with them. Or do I link with that or do I link with this? Uh, if I link with these two... I can link with these, summon the obsidian. Um, yeah, alright, so we'll do that. We'll get, we'll get rid of these into this. Uh, block Dragon's Effect will activate, Firewall will activate. Uh, we'll go 1-2 to, again, mask um, from any potential Ash Blossoms. And so what I'll do is I'll summon this uh, Obsidian from my hand, which I'll use to make uh, Phantom Core up into one of these zones. And then this is going to add... Uh, I've got this already, so I can add Obsidian, I can add Lazuli, and I can add Armadillo. So that's just casual, casual plus, no biggie. And now I get to activate uh, the, the Block Dragon again later. Uh, but for now, I can just activate my Phantom Core's ability for game. Um, so Phantom Core will add yet another Obsidian to my hand. And this is just ridiculous. In case you haven't understood the magnitude of what's going on here, this is actually just ridiculous. Um, there's, there's no way that anything really counters this in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Um, because it's just, it's so ridiculous. So diabolical. How many vanillas do I have in my grave? Do I have just the one? What's in my graveyard? Double check. Um, just the one. So, what I want to do here is I want to summon Zirconia over here uh, using these, using Obsidian and, uh, and Armadillo. So we will. Uh, summon Obsidian and Armadillo over there. Um, and then Obsidian's effect will trigger, bringing back the Lapis, which then I can fuse into, um, into Lady Lapis Lazuli with, and bring it back again. Um, we're trying to make the most out of our card resources here. Uh, so we'll do this, we'll activate this, uh, for the Lady Lapis, getting rid of this, and getting rid of this, for Lady Lapis here. And then this will activate, uh, to summon this back. And then I can go ahead and, let's see, what do I have access in my graveyard to? Uh, I've got the Gym Knight Fusion, which I can go ahead and add back, so I might as well, just so I don't uh, mistakenly banish something critical. Um, is this thing's, this thing's effect is live. That's insane. <laughs> this firewall is still live. Um, I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. This firewall is live. Um, it's living the dream. Um, but, and I'm pointing up into this zone, but I can't use it. Uh, so I'll activate this. I'll send another vanilla from my deck to the grave, I guess. Um, burn for 35. And then I can go into regular diamond here. Uh, so one, two, three, boink, diamond. Connection has been lost. My opponent doesn't want to deal with it, I guess. That's ridiculous. That was an insane turn structure. Uh, the fact that I could go into that diamond, I still had the core effect, the phantom core effect live, which I was going to use to summon another diamond next to the core marker, and then I was going to banish for uh, banish a fusion for Rose, the Zirconia, the special summon the Rose, and then that's another uh, that's another 3,500 damage twice. Um, like that's that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage! Alright, but that's all I'm going to do to mess with this for today's video. This deck is absolutely insane. Um, <laughs> it does get hard countered by a lot of hand traps and shit, but, I mean, it's super fun to play. If you want to play something that makes people angry, they'll even call you a coward. I can attest to this. I had someone call me a coward earlier. They were like, you have to play an FTK deck to have fun. Uh, meanwhile, they had gone normal summon head uh, battling boxer headgear past turn. <laughs> and I was just like, well, you could play, you know, a better built deck, a better suited deck for playing against this, because it's literally counterable by so many cards that are commonly played, like Ghost Ogre counters it, Ash Blossom counters it, Back Row counters it, but nah, I'm the coward. I'm not trying to fight you 1v1 with your head geared, so that makes me a coward for playing a burn deck that could have just killed you anyway the normal way, huh? 
Regardless, I'm definitely going to mess around with this deck for one more video because the Block Dragon iteration does provide a lot more play lines than the previous ones. So, going to mess around with this for at least one more video because I'm having a blast playing it as well. And if you guys are enjoying watching it, then let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to do more Gym Knight related content because it's a deck that I've done content on ever since it originally came out in the original Dual Terminal. Like, I had an old Gym Knight series that was, it's shit by today's standards, but it was, you know, something where I went over the cards back in the day. So. My history with this deck is very long and very documented. But anyway, other than that, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Links as always are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page, as well as my personal Patreon page. If you like the content I've been doing as of recently and want to help support my ability to continue making it, then Patreon is the best way to do so. And even something as little as a dollar a month is a fantastic way to show your support, and you'd have my eternal gratitude because it keeps these videos pumping out, because it gives me more time to do stuff for the videos and improve shit. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Thanks for your time, as per usual. And take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. All right, so now that the video's over, I'd like to give a special thanks to Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, and Eric Gertson, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a ton, a lot more than you may ever know, and you have my eternal gratitude. You guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.